In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a body milk. And the best thing about this body milk is it is sprayable. It's non-greasy and it absorbs into the skin readily. I even sprayed some on our piano player's hands this morning and she was able to play beautifully. There will be three phases to this body milk. We'll have the water phase. We'll have the oil phase, and then we'll have the cool down phase. I'm making a 200 gram batch. And I'll start out by adding 153 grams of distilled water to my first beaker. Next, I'll add my second ingredient, and that'll be six grams of propendiol. This is a humectant. I'm using this in place of glycerin today. Next, I'll add my sodium phytate. I'll add this at 0 0.4 grams. And remember, this is a chelator, which binds iron and or ions, and it's also a preservative booster. Once I get all these in, I'll stir up that sodium phytate just for good measure. And let me know in the comments if there are any of you guys that use a chelator when you're formulating. I just like having that extra little peace of mind since it is known as a preservative booster. Next, I'll start my oil phase. And with this phase, we'll start out with the squalane. And I'm adding 20 grams of squalane. And just to be clear, this is Neosot's squalane. I love the feel of this oil. It's very lightweight. And it has a silky smooth texture. And also, it has the ability to penetrate the skin, which is always a plus. Now I'm adding my second ingredient to the oil phase, and this is 4 grams of IPM, or isopropyl myristate. This is very skin conditioning emollient, and is also slightly occlusive. Next, I add 6 grams of fractionated coconut oil, or they're sometimes referred to as mid-chain triglycerides. This is a very light feeling oil, but it penetrates deeply and moisturizes. As of today's date, there are 169 of you that have subscribed. So go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. And I want to say thank you to all 169 of you all that keep coming back and watching the videos. Thank you. And I add zero point. 4 grams of Sepamax Zen. I just love the skin feel of this ingredient. It feels just really, really silky on your skin. Then lastly, to the oil phase, we are going to add 8 grams of Lotion Pro 165. This is our emulsifier. And remember, this is one of my favorite emulsifiers, so it's going to make this um, body milk very light. And we're going to move both of these beakers over to the double boiler, and we're going to bring it up to about 158, 160, and make sure that both phases are right around the same temperature, so that when we pour the phases together, you'll have a beautiful emulsion. I lost about two grams of water, so I'm replacing it here. Next up, we'll pour the water phase into the oil phase. Then we'll start the mixing process with, a, with an immersion blender. And I mix this for about five minutes. I let it cool down to below 113 degrees, and then I start adding in the cool down ingredients, which are 0 0.5 grams of germabin, that's the preservative, 
0.1 uh, vitamin E or T50 tocopherols and 0.5 fragrance. And I used the coco coconut milk fragrance from Brambleberry. And I love this fragrance. It is just a really nice, soft coconut. Kind of reminds you of summertime suntan lotion. Um, but anyway, this has quickly become one of my favorite fragrances. And then once I get all these ingredients in, I stir it around for a couple of minutes. I just use my new little mini mixer that I just got instead of pulling out the big, uh, instead of pulling out the, um, what am I trying to say? Instead of pulling out the, <laughs> instead of pulling out the immersion blender, there you go, I finally got it out. You know, I kind of just freestyle these um, voiceovers that I do on here. And sometimes I think I just get so mesmerized with the video that's on the screen. The words just will not come out. So anyway, um, I really think that it's best practice that the cool down ingredients do need to be stirred with um a blender or, or some type of mechanical means um, instead of just, you know, kind of stirring it around. Um, and this is just my belief system and what I see works. Um, I mean, I guess you could just stir it around with some kind of little whisk or a spoon or the stir rod or whatever. But I just feel more comfortable feeling like that all the ingredients that I just added in are mixed up well so that the, especially the preservative you know gets into every square inch of the product and then i'll let this cool down to room temperature and then i start pouring it you know into my bottles or jars and then just cap it up but anyway this turned out really really a really nice um really nice feeling product um, I, I tried it on the girls at work and they absolutely love it and they are begging for some more of this so I certainly hope that you guys make it and if you do drop me a comment if you got any issues with it um, I'll be glad to help you with it just drop a question in there and I'll get back to you just as quick as I can and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks bye